Hi, Joe Majori with Desert Dimensions Properties talking about short sales. One of the things that I found most fascinating about short sales over the years is, is really watching them evolve. Short sales today are totally different than six months ago, which was different than six months before that and six months before that. They really are this constant changing um, the process. Lenders change the way they handle them. Lenders, you, you see trends where people say, oh, that bank is terrible, they're, they're the slowest. And the next thing you know, a year goes by and they're one of the fastest and easiest to process and somebody else who's been very easy to deal with has gotten much more bogged down in what their process has become. So something that is, uh, has come to my attention a few times recently is there, there is this trend, and there has been a trend for quite a while, with realtors that use law firms or, or some type of completely third party to negotiate their short sales. Now, negotiating a short sale, sometimes that means negotiating, and sometimes it really just means being a conduit between the seller and the seller's lender. And I think more often than not, it tends to just be the conduit, not necessarily negotiations. But a lot of people have, have uh, taken to using these law firms. And the, the challenge that I've seen is that it really kind of hampers the process. It slows things down. I think it, it adds yet another player into the mix. So you tend to see time frames get stretched out, which is everybody's biggest frustration with short sales. So I, I have begun to, to uh, really express to my clients and, and really make sure that my clients understand that we negotiate our short sales in house. Uh, myself and Lisa do them all personally. So really, I mean, we've got one degree of separation between us and the lender. There are things that, that can go back very quickly. We establish relationships with our uh, the uh, uh, negotiators at these different lenders, and it has served us extremely well. So we're able to say, hey, listen, negotiator, we need you to do this. Can we get this from you? Or can you make this, uh, extend this or push this there? And we've had very, very good success with that. So I, I'm kind of noticing it, and I've seen some frustration going on with these, these third parties that are negotiating short sales. And, they oftentimes include expenses for the sellers and sometimes the buyers have to end up chipping in for that. So I think it's really important for sellers these days when you're looking at a realtor to, uh, to list your house as a short sale to very specifically ask how they plan to negotiate your short sale. That can make a big difference in your experience, your buyer's experience, whether that buyer's going to get frustrated and walk and you might have to move to another one. So that's, that's a pretty important thing I think for people to be identifying right now. I'm Joe Majori with Desert Dimensions Properties. Thanks.